hey, let's explore the power of critical thinking with AI. That'd be great. I would love to start off by just defining critical thinking in a bit more detail and then going into how can I actually use AI to amplify my critical thinking? Critical thinking is the ability to analyze information, evaluate evidence, and make reasoned judgments. It involves questioning assumptions, recognizing biases, and considering alternative perspectives. Essentially, it's about thinking rigorously and systematically to arrive at conclusions rather than accepting information at face value. To use AI to amplify your critical thinking, consider engaging with AI as a collaborative partner. You can prompt AI to challenge your ideas or provide alternative viewpoints. For instance, ask it to present pros and cons of a particular argument you're considering, or use it to generate questions that prompt deeper inquiry about a topic. This way, AI nudges you toward more nuanced thinking rather than just offering quick answers. How do you see this approach working in your own context? It's a good question. I try to use that approach a lot with my own prompts with AI. So I like to think deeply beforehand in terms of what am I trying to achieve? What are the end goals? How can I structure that and explain that to a, a large language model? And then even during the process of working with those tools, I always try to ask follow-up questions or, you know, question it in a way that if I'm not too sure on its responses and to get the information and the reasoning behind they got to those responses. So, I mean, does that sound like the kind of thing I should be doing? Is there anything else that I can do on top of that? It sounds like you're already employing a thoughtful and reflective approach to working with AI, which is fantastic. Clarifying your goals and structuring your prompts thoughtfully are essential steps. Additionally, here are a couple of strategies to elevate your practice further. One, iterative refinement. After receiving a response, consider revisiting your prompts and tweaking them based on the AI's output. This not only clarifies your thinking, but also helps you explore additional facets of your inquiry that you might not have covered originally. Two, contextualizing responses. Try to frame the AI's suggestions within your own knowledge or expertise. Ask yourself how the AI's answers align with or challenge what you already understand about the topic and reflect on these comparisons to deepen your insight. Three, encourage divergence. Go beyond your usual inquiries by asking the AI to explore hypotheticals or outlier perspectives related to your question. This can stimulate creative thinking and open up new avenues for exploration. How do you think these additional strategies might fit into your current practice? They sound good and I'll definitely be included in them. Something else that I'm quite keen to do is to make sure that I don't over rely on these AI tools and start to diminish or erode my critical thinking. So is there any kind of strategy or kind of very mini framework that I can use to help me avoid doing that? Absolutely. It's great that you're conscious of maintaining your critical thinking alongside using AI tools. One helpful strategy is the Think, use, reflect framework. Here's a brief breakdown. One, think. Before using AI, spend time brainstorming and outlining your thoughts. Identify what you know and what you wish to learn. The clearer your understanding before engaging with AI, the better you'll be able to assess its responses. Two, use. When you interact with AI, treat it as a tool to enhance your thinking, not as a crutch. Focus on asking it reflective questions that deepen your understanding rather than just seeking quick answers. Three, reflect. After using AI, take a moment to evaluate the information provided. Consider how it aligns or contrasts with your own reasoning and knowledge. Ask yourself if you gained deeper insights or merely accepted the AI's output and adjust your approach as needed. By cycling through these three stages regularly, you can help safeguard your critical thinking while effectively integrating AI into your process. How do you feel about adopting this framework? Okay, we'll leave it there because I think you get the idea pretty much. And as I say, this is something I was able to put together in about 20 minutes. It's using my own articles based on critical thinking and AI and how we can amplify that and some of the things we need to be aware of as well. There is a huge instruction set behind that that I have built and I will show how to do that if there is demand for me to show how to create something like this. But the point is, this is a really interesting use case of AI technology today, where we have these real-time streaming avatars that we can talk to on particular topics that we select. But if I spent more time building this out, say over a couple of days, this could be really, really helpful. It feels pretty basic at the moment, but it's going to be in under 20 minutes, right? But we spent a lot of time on this, thinking about 
the overall experience and questions people might ask and how we want it to behave. I really, really think this is going to be a, a powerful addition. You could probably see on the video that I was maintaining a lot of eye contact. I actually think the kind of emotional expression, even though my brain is, it's not real and it's artificial, still engage me. If I look back to a couple of years ago where the lip syncing was so bad, there were strange nods kind of everywhere. It was off putting, but now this feels a lot more, can I say, genuine, and it engaged me a lot more. And I can definitely see myself having a longer conversation with something like this. So look, I hope that's been helpful to kind of give you a glimpse into the enormity of the possible, a different use case there if you're working in the education and learning section. And like I say, I'll be talking more about this in an upcoming edition of my Still These Thoughts newsletter, where we're going to dive into really useful applications of different AI tools that you can do today in your practice. And like I say, if there's demand for me to show how to create something like this, let me know and we'll do that. Also in that newsletter, I will embed this demo that I've got here. So you can play with this yourself. You can have a conversation with this avatar and let me know what you think. I'd love to know, you know, how you have found that experience, what you'd like to see more of and how you might use that in your own practice too. But as always, hope it's useful. And I will speak to you in the next one.